The film takes inspiration from the true events surrounding the life and career of Father Gabriel Amorth, who served as the personal exorcist for the Pope during the 1980s. Father Amorth was a highly respected figure within the Catholic Church and dedicated his life to battling the forces of evil through the practice of exorcism. In this gripping adaptation, the film delves into the complex world of exorcisms and spiritual warfare, providing a rare glimpse into the challenging work carried out by Father Amorth. Audiences are taken on a thrilling journey as the film explores the intensity and dedication required to perform exorcisms while offering insight into the psychological, spiritual, and emotional impact of the practice on both the exorcist and the afflicted individuals. By portraying the real-life work of Father Gabriel Amorth, the film aims to not only entertain but also educate viewers on the nature of exorcism within the Catholic Church. It brings to light the importance of faith, courage, and determination in the face of unimaginable darkness, and it showcases the extraordinary commitment of those who have taken up the mantle of spiritual warfare. Welcome to the one and only Rapid Movie Recap. We're the place where you'll find lightning-fast, side-splitting summaries of your favorite films. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and turn on notifications to join our quirky little community. Oh, and if you're in the mood for a laugh in another language, just click on the CC button to enable subtitles. We've got you covered in more ways than one. Now, if you're absolutely tickled by our content and want to help us keep the lights on, don't be shy. Just take a gander at the marvelous merchandise we got available right below this video. Your support means the world to us, and you'll look fabulously fashionable while doing it. In June 1987, in the picturesque town of Tropia, Italy, Father Gabriel Amorth, the Pope's personal exorcist, makes his way to the residence of a young man believed to be possessed by a demon. Riding a scooter, Father Amorth arrives at the house and first speaks to the young man's sister to gather information about the situation. Upon finding the young man in his bedroom, Amorth is confronted with an entity claiming to be the devil himself. Undaunted, Father Amorth challenges the demon by asserting that it isn't powerful enough to possess a pig he had brought along. Surprisingly, the demon accepts the challenge and transfers its possession from the young man to the pig. Seizing the opportunity, one of Father Amorth's associates quickly kills the possessed pig with a shotgun blast to the head, putting an end to the demon's influence. Meanwhile, in Castilla, Spain, a family consisting of Mother Julia and her children Amy and Henry moves into a new home. Having inherited an old abbey from her late husband, Julia plans to renovate and sell the property. Henry, still traumatized by witnessing his father's death in a car accident, hasn't spoken since the tragic event. While exploring the house, Henry stumbles upon a mysterious room containing an unusual artifact. Concurrently, Julia requests Amy's assistance in helping her cope with Henry's silence, despite Amy's own moody disposition. Back in Rome, Father Amorth faces criticism from church higher-ups for performing the exorcism in Tropia without their permission. Although he has the support of his friend, Bishop Lulumba, Father Amorth faces opposition from Cardinal Sullivan, who dismisses the idea of demonic possession. In defense of his actions, Amorth insists that evil is a very real threat, referencing the case of a woman named Rosdaria, who tragically died after he failed to save her from possession. Frustrated by the lack of understanding, Father Amorth storms out of the meeting, angering Cardinal Sullivan even more. The workers assigned to renovate the abbey venture into the area Henry had been exploring earlier. One of them carelessly lights a flare near an open space, causing a sudden explosion that leaves them injured. The incident seems to awaken something sinister, as Henry experiences a seizure, much to the horror of Julia and Amy. Shockingly, Henry speaks for the first time since the accident, ominously warning his mother and sister of their impending deaths before violently clawing at his own face. Seeking answers, Julia takes Henry for medical tests, but the results show no abnormalities. Back at home as Amy tends to a feverish Henry, more bizarre events unfold. Henry lifts his shirt to reveal the word hate etched into his abdomen, and then, in a guttural, demonic voice, demands the presence of a priest. Desperate, Julia calls upon Father Thomas Esquivel, who is violently thrown against the walls by the demonic force within Henry, mocking him for being the wrong priest. Meanwhile, Father Amorth visits the Pope to discuss the skepticism of other church officials. The Pope reaffirms his belief in the existence of evil and informs Amorth about Henry's possession. Trusting in Amorth's ability to confront such powerful malevolence, the Pope warns him of the demon's dangerous nature. 
Determined to help, Amorth travels to Spain and arrives at the Abbey on his scooter, where he is introduced to Thomas, Julia, and Amy. Although Thomas is familiar with Amorth's books but hasn't read them, Amorth modestly assures him that they are worth reading. As Amorth confronts the demon possessing Henry, it taunts him by expressing a desire to possess an exorcist. Despite maintaining his composure, Amorth is unnerved when the demon taps into his memories of surviving a gunshot wound during the war. The demon then forces Henry to regurgitate a dead bird, leaving Amorth deeply disturbed by the encounter. Father Amorth attempts to comfort Julia by assuring her that with unwavering faith, they can rescue Henry from the demonic grip. However, the demon persists in its torment, targeting Amy by mimicking her father's voice and making eerie phone calls to further unsettle her. Despite his inexperience as an exorcist, Thomas decides to join Amorth in performing the exorcism. The demon manipulates Amorth's mind, showing him images of Rosaria and reminding him of his failure to save her. It also taunts Thomas about his past extramarital affair with a woman named Adela. This provocation causes Thomas to lose control and attempt to choke Henry. Realizing the demon's manipulation, Amorth and Thomas acknowledge the need to learn its name in order to save Henry before it's too late. Amorth tasks Thomas with keeping watch over the family as he investigates a nearby well. Dropping a lit piece of paper into the well, he triggers a massive explosion of flames. Meanwhile, the demon's reign of terror continues, causing Henry to bite off part of Thomas's ear, attempting to pull Julia into her bed, and violently tossing Amy around the room. To protect them, the priests relocate Julia and Amy to the abbey for the night. Amorth and Thomas return to the well to delve deeper into the demon's history. Simultaneously, back in Rome, the Pope searches through historical documents related to the Abbey. Suddenly, he falls ill, fainting and being rushed to the hospital. Desperate to relay vital information to Amorth, the Pope tries to contact Lulumba and Sullivan, but his efforts are thwarted when he vomits blood on Sullivan's face. The priests discover catacombs beneath the abbey, where non-converts were executed and buried. They also find a man who had locked himself in a cage to protect others from his possession. Inside the man's body, Amorth discovers a key that leads them deeper into the catacombs. There, they uncover the body of a Spanish Inquisition founder who had been both an exorcist and a possessed infiltrator within the church. They deduce that the demon is currently working to amass an army of possessed victims for a similar purpose. During this time, the demon manages to possess both Henry and Amy simultaneously. Thomas finds a book containing the demon's name, Asmodeus. When spoken aloud, the name breaks Amy's possession. Thomas realizes that Asmodeus is targeting Amorth specifically because of his closeness to the Pope. Amorth shares his experiences from the war, his survivor's guilt, and his remorse for failing to save Rosaria. Initially believing she was merely mentally ill, he was unable to prevent her from jumping to her death in front of him. Rosaria's demise exposed some of the church's wrongdoings, and Amorth is haunted by his failure to help her. Seeking solace, Amorth asks for forgiveness, and Thomas grants him absolution. Preparing for the final battle to save Henry, Amorth, and Thomas gather Julia and Amy. Asmodeus, now causing Henry's face to appear monstrous, taunts the priests, claiming that the boy is beyond salvation. Undeterred, the priests confront visions of Rosaria and Adela conjured by the demon. As Henry's real voice weakens, the demon carves God is not here onto his body before repossessing Amy and forcing her to attack Julia. In a selfless act, Amorth allows Asmodeus to possess him instead, saving Thomas and the family. Sensing Amorth's peril, the Pope awakens in Rome. Meanwhile, Thomas guides Julia and the children to safety as the now-possessed Amorth remains behind. As Amorth tries to hang himself to eliminate the demon, Asmodeus' power intensifies, causing widespread destruction throughout the house. It forces Amorth back into the catacombs, where Thomas finds him and implores him to resist the demon's control. Amorth is confronted by another demonic vision of Rosaria emerging from the ground. With Thomas's support, they battle against the demon's attempts to use Amorth to bring down the church. Despite further demonic apparitions of Rosaria and Adela attacking the priests, Thomas throws Amorth across, and together, they force Asmodeus into a dark abyss, banishing it back to hell. Grateful, Amorth thanks Thomas before taking a swig from his flask. Amorth and Thomas return to Rome to meet the Pope, who requests an update on her Spanish mission. The Pope informs them that Sullivan, after experiencing the demon's power firsthand during Amorth's possession, has taken a sabbatical in Guam, and Lulumba has replaced him. The Pope assigns Amorth and Thomas to other sites of demonic possession, tasking them with fighting against the forces of evil. Amorth dryly remarks to Thomas, we're going to hell. 
In the film's conclusion, on-screen text reveals that Father Gabriela Morth continued his work helping people until his passing in 2016. He authored numerous books, with the text humorously adding that the books are good. Following the credits, a photograph of the real Father Amorth is displayed. Do yourself a favor and support the hardworking creators and artists by checking out the full movie using the link in the description below. You know you want to. Thanks for tuning in to Rapid Movie Recap, and hey, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more Rapid Movie Recap they will save you time and make your life just a little bit easier.